What's up you guys, it's Jalen here back again with another video. Let me go get the shoes and I'll show you guys the Devin Booker ones. Alright, so what we got here is three Devin Booker shoes. Um, got the chapter ones. I got two pairs of the Mirage and then I got the exclusive pair from Miami Art Basil. Um, I got the numbered orange pair so it's pretty limited but let's get straight to it, alright? Alright, so this is the first ever Devin Booker 1 Chapter 1. Um, this is the orange colorway. I got this. Luckily, I have a friend in Miami, so he was able to secure a pair when he was in the area. And he blessed me with these. Um, he knew I was a Devin Booker fan, so thankfully I got that. And I can show you guys the little bit of details. Mikey Book 1, Unknown Miami, 2023, Book It, Chapter 1. Look. Um, I haven't really seen reviews on the orange pair. I've only seen like four pairs on YouTube or online. So this is it. This is the limited edition. Same box as the Mirage ones, but let me show you guys the orange pair first. So we got the orange pair. These are so beautiful. Um, the colorway is very bright and orange. Uh, it's also very textured in terms of materials. I'll get into details with you guys right now. So first we got the original orange, clay orange in the description. We got a suede chapter one, got that 96. If you look at the 96 here, it'll also be 96 upside down. That's a little cool hidden gem that they added. They got the pages on the heel tab as well. That's something Devin Booker wanted to because he did want that book um, attire or look to it. Um, Got that numbered pair, 135 out of 500. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, 135 out of 500. They, he got a, his family crest and his um, wrist tatted, and he also put in the tongue. He got book. This is his signature logo. He doesn't have like that one like design logo where it's like pretty identifiable which who it is but he just has a book on it it's pretty simple it gives his character the the simplicity that he carries in the nba as well um we got this textured material like reptile snake skin going all around the the shoe got that it's like a dry suede as well on the nike swoosh and then same thing, suede, um, textured material. Uh, when I was reading a description, it said like he wanted to do like a te different textures workwear to mimic his style as well, because he does wear like a bunch of like workwear looks. So I understand where this colorway and material came from. I'm not gonna lie though, it gives me it reminds me of that Fantastic Four character thing. Um, it, this is a fire shoe. Don't get me wrong. It's inspired from Phoenix, the sun, and like how this is like a dried up version of a orange from laying in the sun too much faded over time, so that's pretty cool. And so is the swoosh. I love this shoe a lot. Um, tried it on, but I don't know if I want to wear it just because it's so valuable to me. I, I appreciate the rarity and the value and the first ever colorway that released, so this is a means a lot to me. Next up, we got the next pairs that we got is the Mirage colorway, the first ever to release in public. This was Devin Booker's first official release to the public. I got two pairs. Um, I got two pairs. So yeah, I got two pairs. Wanted to double up on these because, you know, as a book fan, I want to make sure I got one DS and one to wear, you know? Uh, I decided I want to rock this casually and more as a lifestyle shoe than to hoop it. I'm definitely hooping other pairs and other colorways, but I just can't rock a light shoe for basketball. Um, I get really anxious when people step on my shoe because I hate that it turns black after like two wears, so... Yeah, I mean, you could check my Instagram, you can see my highlights, but 
I do like some nice colorways for basketball, so I can't wait to rock the upcoming colorways. The upcoming colorways that they're going to have, um, they're going to have a Haven colorway, all black with the little like gold, bronze, whatever I saw, rattlesnake colorway, and then the green one. So yeah, um, very excited, but here's the official D-Book colorway, the Mirage. I got two pairs. Uh, very clean and aesthetically pleasing. This is a great colorway. A very, I would say, very um, controversial sneaker as of now. I feel like people are slowly getting into the the hype. I think everyone didn't like the leak picture and that everyone hated on these, but originally they trashed it for being a basic shoe. But to be honest, for me, I think. I'd rather wear this on and off the court than a Luka or a Tatum or a Zion or a, like a John. Like I, I can't wear those type of sneakers on off the court. Like I can't rock it with swag, you know. Like I love fashion, so this is a fashionable shoe as well. So you can wear this on and off the court. So I think that Devin Booker and the Nike team did a great job putting on a great silhouette for the first signature and I'm. This is a shoe that you can rock on and off the court. And the materials that they put is um, suede. This is like a suede, translucent, you know, milky sole. Uh, this is a gray leather swoosh. Um, brown leather, chapter one. Got the 96 as well, upside down. Book pages. I uh, love this tan, different um, or wood color. It's super clean. And then they got the orange book logo to add that orange book and you got that hand drawn signet Nike swoosh he made and then overall a great shoe I try I, I worn the other pair already and I, like I said it's very comfortable the, the sizing I would say you you gotta go half a size up if you're a nine and a half go get a ten if you're a ten get a ten and a half just to play it safe because to be honest the ankle has super has hella support so you guys gotta keep that in mind and it, it gets snug like overall it snugs towards your toes like it cuts off the pinky so you gotta get a little half size up just to get that right comfort and like the right sizing for your shoe when you play basketball or rock it casually you don't want it to be tight because then you sometimes you wear thick socks for like the lead socks or ankle braces like that's an added like size already, so you gotta make, be aware to get a half size up for these deep book ones. But other than that, the zoom, the cushion and the zoom, perfect. Um, everything about it looks basic, but I promise you, the technology and the in performance aspect is really good. The traction is good. I did some jabs, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I wanna play in these already, but I gotta wait for a different colorway. Uh, these are something I can just wear on and off the court, so I decided to rock these casually, but I'm going to wear the next colorway for basketball, and I'll give you guys a performance review for that. But I just wanted to show you guys the, the two colorways that I got. Um, I got many more D-Books coming. Um, shout out Book. Congratulations to him. Uh, being a Nike signature shoe athlete is very rare. Um, not a lot of people say that. I know Jordan kind of gives a privilege to a bunch of their Jordan athletes as signature shoes, so is Adidas, so it's not as special, but Nike, a swoosh part is um, it's a big thing, um, in my opinion. So, But thank you guys for watching. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't already liked the video, let's try to get some subscribers and some likes up in this. I know we're new, so it's going to be hard to get that, but we're going to keep grinding. Um, more reviews coming soon, and stay tuned for the next video, alright?